Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. And today we have a Sunny Roo solar inverter. This one's an SR1500 TL. The 1500 stands for 1500 watts. It's a 1.5 kilowatt rated inverter. And if you have a look on the screen on this one, we're getting an AL10 error, and this red light is on, and there's a little earth symbol beside it. And what the AL10 error is telling us is that the inverter has detected that the leakage current on the, on the ground conductor is too high. It's seeing a problem with the system and so it's throwing this alarm code 10 al10 error now uh with something like this it is worth getting a uh, an accredited solar installer a solar technician to come and have a look at your system and actually work out what's going on the uh because it can be a problem either with the solar panels or on the ac side of the inverter so it is worth getting checked out uh, properly now in this case, I know for certain that this is not a problem with the solar panels, it's not a problem with the AC, we've tested all that side of things, but we're still getting this AL10 error, which tells us it's, uh, it's looking like it's a problem with the inverter or a glitch of the inverter. So whenever you have any problem with a solar inverter, I recommend trying to reboot the system, and that's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure to do that, which should be something like this turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. So the solar supply main switch is located in your switchboard. The inverter AC isolator is right here in this case. You might not have an inverter AC isolator but it's installed beside the, the uh, switchboard. So we're just going to throw that off. And then we've got turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter which is over here in this case. So we're just going to throw that off. And we're just going to wait for the system to shut down completely like it has there. And then we're going to restart the inverter. Now the shutdown procedure is quite critical that you go in that order, but the startup procedure is not really all that important. As long as you turn everything on, it's all good. So we're just going to turn the DC on here, and then the AC on, and just wait for the inverter to try and start up. So if you are having issues with an inverter like this, and, um, and you do need to let someone know, a technician or someone know, about the, the model of the inverter. Well, this is the model here, the SR15000, uh, sorry, 1500 TL. But we've also got the uh, little data plate on the side of the inverter. So if you have a look there, we've got model number SR1500 TL. And you can see there, we've got the AC output on the inverter is 1500 watts, 1500 W. So that's the maximum output of the inverter. So this is a 1.5 kilowatt or 1500 watt inverter so we're just waiting for this inverter to try and start up now and uh now it's looking like it's playing some more games with us and it's giving us an al14 code which is a different error code altogether just to be interesting in this case i'm not going to try and uh, re reboot this system again because it's not what we want There we go, blink again. I'm just going to try rebooting the system again. So A or 14 is actually a, a common fault with the sunny room inverters as well, and it usually means they need to be replaced. But we'll see what it comes up with this time after a second reboot. So you can see the green lights flashing there. And at the moment it's reading the voltage of the solar panel so it's got a picture of solar cells up here and it's got an arrow pointing to it and in the input a we've got 219 volts but you can see it's gone back through and it's got this al10 fault and uh so in this case i am 100 percent sure i'm an electrical technician and solar accredited installer and uh have checked this whole system out and it's definitely not a problem with earth leakage on the system it's so this is an internal problem internal fault with the inverter well you can try and get something like this repaired but you're probably going to get no change of five hundred dollars and then you've still got an inverter with, with absolutely no warranty the sunny roof company is uh, long gone now and uh yeah so in my opinion you're much better off to bite the bullet spend a bit more money get a good quality replacement inverter and uh, with a full warranty and uh, have, you, have a brand new system working for a long time to come. Look, if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you if you've got an issue like this. Don't hesitate to get in contact with us. And uh, look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.